since its release, EK Pro Insole has been embraced by many repair shops, wholesalers, and refurbished business owner worldwide, and it has sold over 230,000 units, with sales volume continuing to rise. So, what makes EK Pro Insole so excellent? Follow our test to find out. First, take EK Pro Insole screen of iPhone 11 for testing. Connect the screen testing flex to the DLZX S300 programmer. Turn on the programmer and connect EK Pro screen to it. Adjust the brightness of the machine to the highest brightness. You can see that the sum of the electric current value, after the screen is on, backlight plus display plus touch, the unit is MA, is about 766 MA. Remove the screen protector and measure its thickness with a vernier caliper. The thickness of the screen is 2.39 mm. Measure the thickness after install screen on the board and back housing. The value goes to 8.26 mm. Thanks to EK Pro Insole's cough structure, the thickness of the EK Pro is close to the original standard. After lighting the screen, use a ruler to measure the chin width of the screen, the ruler shows 3 mm. Then measure the width of the black edge on the side. The ruler shows 3.5 mm, indicating that both have met original standard. Examine the resolution of the screen fonts with a magnifying glass. You can see that the screen is still very bright, and the fonts are still very delicate. Turn on the computer and set screen to an all-white image. Test its brightness, color temperature, and color balance with Spider 5. The brightness of EK Pro Insole screen goes to about 717.19 CD slash M2, and the color temperature is about 8927K. The color balance is very balanced, approaching original standard. Open CPB separation heating station, and set the temperature to 60 degrees Celsius. Place the phone on it, and heat the front and back sides for about 3 minutes. Remove the phone and test its touch sensitivity. Even at slightly higher temperatures using environment, the screen remains smooth and sensitive. Attention, test methods on other insole are consistent with EK Pro insole, so we will show testing value and result only. EK Pro Insole 766MA, other Insole 818MA, more than 52MA than EK Pro, which means more power consumption and less durable battery. EK Pro Insole Screen Thickness 2.39mm, other Insole Screen Thickness 2.40mm. EK Pro Insole Installation Thickness 8.26 mm, Other Insole Installation Thickness 8.40 mm. Both values of Other Insole is thicker than EK Pro Insole, and the hand feeling is not good. EK Pro Insole 3 mm, Other Insole 5 mm. EK Pro Insole 3.5 mm, Other Insole 3.5 mm. Other insole screen chin is too wide compared to the EK Pros, and too wide chin will make the screen display ratio smaller than original screen. EK Pro insole bright screen, clear fonts. Other insole dim screen, blurry fonts. EK Pro Insole 717.19 CD slash M2, other Insole 493.24 CD slash M2, EK Pro Insole 8927K, other Insole 7184K, EK Pro Insole Balanced Color, up to original level, other Insole Poor Color Balance, and Clear Fonts.
EK Pro insole very smooth and sensitive, other insole a little smooth and sensitive. Through testing and comparison, it concludes that EK Pro far outperforms other insole screens in terms of brightness, color temperature, color balance, screen size, installed thickness, power consumption, and picture resolution, which is also the reason why EK Pro has so stable quality and high popularity. Furthermore, EK Pro insole supports permanent, remove non-genuine display pop-up message on the iPhone 11 and above, by transplanting IC chip. Please watch more details in our other video. We welcome more customers to try our EK Pro insole screen, it will not let you down.